Good evening, everybody. Thank you all so much for such a warm welcome. It's so good to be here. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We know that um, as Christians, we are the real drunkards. Because what we drink is stronger than alcohol. Hallelujah. So today we are going to be listening to a piece titled not Gouda, not Hennessy, not uh, Hennekin, not Vodka, but Godka. Hallelujah. Warning. This liquid is rated supernatural. For the composition of its content is not scripturally recommended for human consumption, so drinker's discretion is thoroughly advised. And you may think that you have tasted the best of wine and finest of spirits or experienced the greatest of highs and crossed the limits of alcohol, but you are only human until you have tasted the booze of the spirit and you are no drunkard until you begin to ooze of secret waters. So, drinker's discretion is thoroughly advised. I was born human. Iniquity was my origin until once upon the midnight a star led me to the legend whose blood is liquor. He loves to stupor. Took more than a bullet to get me high. Told the devil to smirn off. And in one magic moment in the victory shout, I lost mortality when the spirit broke out. Have you tasted wine? I do not speak of the likes of Gouda. This is the ultimate. A certain brand of Judah, not made for mortal tongues. For humans can hardly tolerate strong drink. How much more? God, ka, I. I do not tell of the content of bottles, no. Divinity does not drink from bottles like mortals. For bottles cannot contain burning fire. So we drink from portals. With buckets of joy, we draw from bottomless wells of epignosis. And in cups of Rema, we make toasts from the depths of exegesis. Have you drunk the blood booze? or swallowed life after death have you tasted the fire smooth or drunk the sound of heaven touching earth what language do you speak and to what tribe do you belong I I do not belong to a physical country or a natural region I I belong to the blood tribe descendants of the Zion nation for though we are in this world representatives of countries and of flags we are citizens of heaven our humanity is but a camouflage for without these costumes of flesh and bones we will be of little use and these abode we are a people of burning lips and an unknown tongue we communicate in psalms hymns and spiritual songs our species was created in Genesis 2 recreated in Galatians 2 and customized in the acts of apostles 2 we are neither French nor German. We are neither French nor German, English or American, Igbo or Yoruba. We are supernatural, the Trinity in human containers. We hail from the Avatar dynasty of heavy drinkers, Graham, Idahosa, Wigglesworth, or a few of our ancestors, avatars we are, preservers of the universe, masters of time, lights of God, sounds of time. We are neither alcoholic nor human we are supernatural and we drink unrestricted and without limits with the boundless capacity for the spirit we drink with stammering lips of an, and another tongue shameless audacity reckless abandon we drink and we get ultra high for the spirit is the power station we are transmission line so we drink to ignite and hard as it may try the world can never boast of stupor like us for the Lord is our bartender Elohim fills our cup and what they call booze we call the spirit and what they call groove we call fellowship we and as we ooze of the booze of life we render death of no use it's no news that darkness takes the flight to the fuse of light so we drink fire to a line we are high we know they see with clear eye have you shot Adonai and if you've ever been to the club called Chuck no jokes you're gonna say our head the touch for 
Once upon a busy afternoon, we postponed the sunset and made a mockery of the clock. And when the Egyptians saw the Red Sea, we saw a road network. We, we are neither stranded, we are neither, never stranded, never broke. We command the cash we trample on gold. For where you see the river, we just might see the bank. And what you call tilapia, we just go call cashiers. We, we are neither alcoholic nor are we human. We are naturally supernatural, proudly bloody. We drink the most high God, we eat his body. And you may think that you have tasted the best of wine and finest of spirits. We've experienced the greatest of highs and crossed the limits of alcohol. But you are only human until you have tasted the booze of the spirit. And you are no drunkard until you begin to ooze of secret waters. For while the consumption of counterfeit liquor climaxes in embarrassing encounters with gutters, the consumption of the spirit triggers a combustion in the spirit and the eruption of living waters. <gasps> Be not drunk with alcohol, but become authentic drunkards, making tremendous power available. And with God, God drinking responsibly is completely irresponsible for. You can drink to stupor when the spirit is your liquor. And this liquid is rated supernatural. For the composition of its content is not scripturally recommended for human consumption. So drinkers' discretion is thoroughly advised. God, God, the ultimate. Thank you.